I've been face tuning the fuck out of my photos. Really? Oh. I love what face tuning the shit out of them. You don't need to though. Yep. Sure do. Really? What is, what's face yeah. Am I face tuning my eyes right now? Because there's uh, what I'm seeing is a, a perfect complexion. I truly, when I face tune my photos, people are immediately like, "Oh my god, you're glowing!" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not." But like, <laughs> yes, it's there. It's immediately better feedback. So that's what, how I know. And it's like almost hurtful. Then the com- then the compliments are hurtful because I'm like, it's not even my real fucking. That's face. why I don't do it because I can't take the compliments because I go th- then I I'm truly ugly and they don't know how ugly I am. Yeah. I want to just be as ugly as possible sometimes in photos. I would rather disappoint in person. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd rather like just be like, right. you know, they'll no, they'll meet me and they'll be like, opposite. she's so down to earth, but I just look uglier. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah. See, like I'd rather to, the other way. I like to just smear Vaseline all over my face <laughs> when I meet people because I just have, a, a like, a filter yeah. at all times. It's like you yeah. look like you're crowning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, See you wow. later. How long were you together? Like six or seven months. Oh, okay. yeah, I didn't yeah, even say yeah. years. I was like, mm. no, no, no. Well, yeah. she was just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's gone now, yeah. and it's just for now that it had to end. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, that sounds really healthy. She's just in Florida. Buses don't go to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm That's a good point. Bus to what Australia? bus? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to Florida. <laughs> Fuck that. You're like bus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys keep in touch, or was uh, it over emotionally? I think it's over. Over. Yeah. Uh, we still we're still good friends. We still text each other and stuff like that. Yeah. But, uh, cool. Anyway, not to make this about me. I'm a single boy, and I'm, <laughs> and I, I'm uh, I love it. I'm happy. I <laughs> okay. England. What's that? You're mingling? I, I get I don't know. I don't I I um I went to Barcelona and like and I for for Thanksgiving and I didn't I couldn't like talk to girls. I don't know how to talk to girls. But you speak Spanish, so you could I do. talk to them. I, t- I could. <laughs> yeah. But I would be like I would be like, oh, hola, me gusta tus zapatos. And then she would give me nothing. I'd be like, ah, oh, this place sucks. And I'd just leave the bar. Yeah. You know? Well, you it's said hard. you liked your shoes. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with that? Oh, I that's like that. that's I like me your... telling people I understand a minimal. <laughs> that was good. It was, that was really good. Thank when, you so yeah, much. Wow. Really, really good. Appreciate that. Uh, it's, it's hard out there. I was going to say, as a stand up, it's easy. Oh, yeah. Because I get to show off, and then people come up to me. Yeah. When I don't have stand-up, I don't know how to approach people. No, yeah. uh, men who are stand-up comedians, I always ask them, I go, like, I'll be talking to, let's say, Phil Hanley. I remember having this conversation when yeah. he was single. I go, get on the apps. And he goes, I don't need to do that. And I'm like, what? Get on the And he's like, I don't, N- Nikki, I don't need to do And I'm like, oh, right, you don't. You guys perform, and women flock to you. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's how you meet women. It's not... It is the same for women. We have men approach us, right. but we're disgusted by men who are like <laughs> fans of ours. I right? can't even respect a man that Me too. doesn't wow. perform. I, the, the, no, a guy that is like, let me just watch your dog while you go on the road with other men is like, oh. not. Res- I can't respect him. See, I, I could get behind that. I don't like a guy who's just like. That's what she's looking for. I'm, yeah. I, for. I don't know. I don't want a guy who like bought a ticket to a comedy show. Yeah. Yeah. It they just got, like, like weird... you should be funny enough to not have to go do this. Right. To like go be entertained. I don't know. I think there's something. I need people to buy tickets unless, to my comedy right. I know, shows. I know. Unless this is you inherently own... the worst thing I right, could ever yeah. say. Was to crowd. Say. No, but like, unless he owns. A network or like a basketball team. I think you would talk to that guy right. if yes. he bought a ticket to a comedy yes. show. Yes, or if his friends brought him along. But like a guy who's actively a fan of mine, and like that's where it starts. Mm, yeah, it's not gonna. If you're if you get to know me through my comedy first, I don't know. Women are but looking I don't know. for different things than men are. Men mm-hmm. don't mind a girl who just they would like a girl that buys a com- yes. a ticket to see them. Yes, in a comedy show. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. There's something about it that's just ugh. I'm like no. They it's like they secretly they they admire what you do. They either admire what you do so much that it's repellent. Yes. Or they think they can do it. Yeah. And like right. they secretly oh, think they can do it and yeah. then they try to do it with you mm-hmm. and you're like absolutely not. And so it's this uh <laughs> I want to just say though because I feel bad now that there probably is a guy out there that could be a fan yeah. of mine that could get through. I don't mean to discourage all of you because I do want to find love someday and I don't want to like say that I would never date a fan. Mm-hmm. But I where I am now in my life when someone is a fan of my like it, I'm getting the sense uh, the same thing that you just said the first one of like yeah. You're too into the comedy thing and Oof. that's I don't want to talk about comedy. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to be like at dinner with them and they're going to be like, oh, did you see so-and-so's new set? And you're like, I fucked him. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. it's like, can you please, yeah. you know? Or, or like, or they write to me like, you are so beautiful without makeup. And it's just like, oh. that'll come later. Like, I don't want all these compliments before that, like, I decide if I want to yeah. fuck you. Yeah. yeah. I don't like when guys are like, you're, I don't know. It's it's my problem, yeah, not it's yours. Like, you have no right to compliment me mm-hmm. in this way. You don't even know me. Right. And then th- they think that they are, are outliers because... Oh, I like her without makeup. Like I'm gonna be like, oh, finally. Yeah. It's like no. I. It just. It. It actually now makes me mad because you don't like me with makeup. So now I feel like you think I'm ugly sometimes. Like it's just. It's actually backfires. It doesn't work. It's just a forced. It's forced. Forced. It's, it feels forced. like forced intimacy, and it's gross because that's what serial Thirsty. killers do. They like force right. help on you, and then they get into your apartment. And oh my god, you you're apart, so right. Limb right. from limb. <laughs> 
I just, but I also <laughs> scared. That really did. I, I just real. read about oh, so many serial killings. Um, yeah. Lately, have you read The Gift of Fear? Yes. So good. I read a fourth of it, which is what I same. do with self help books. <laughs> exactly the but same. It like it's wild. Yeah. Like, if you, girls, and I've said this so many times, and I've gotten into some really awkward situations because I've felt fear, mm-hmm. and I've been like, I don't feel safe. I'm leaving, and the guy wasn't a murderer. But I didn't like, I got a weird vibe. Yeah. And I needed to get away. Yeah. And Good. that's just the, the lesson in that book is like, we are equipped with like this sense, the yeah. spidey sense I, our, of raping. I feel like uh, <laughs> women's bodies are kind of, um, they're like artificial intelligence in the sense that like when we're breastfeeding, our nipples can read the saliva of a baby and adjust the levels of vitamins that a baby needs wow. to like give it what it needs. And Whoa. and then men like jizz and pee out of the same tube. Hell so yeah! They're like, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like simple creatures, and we're like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yes, we. we and have it's a not lo- that there's not value to that. There is, but it's just different. Like, yes, I I think when we feel something or like an intuitive something. It's of course they don't understand it. But I we've been gaslighted so much and I know that term is becoming like this I'm every man rolls his eyes hearing that term now but like I really feel like I've gaslit myself like did you just like every every decision I make where I'm like I don't like this guy I go but am I just doing that cuz I'm scared of love or do I really not like him like I don't yeah. trust myself anymore because I don't because I've been tricked by guys. I don't know what it is anymore, but I, I do you ever do you relate to that rosebud of like yeah. not trusting who you're attracted to or who you're not attracted to? Yeah, I mean I have this like uh thing with men that are like really loving and like I, I it's hard because I was thinking about this a lot lately cuz the guy that I'm with now is like loves like face holding and eye contact and I'm like can you threaten me you know but then I was like oh he's holding my face and making eye contact that's the most threatening thing that you could do yeah. <laughs> like I'm like that's like the equivalent of like tying me to a radiator so like I'm that's like really this funny. is so I've kind of twisted it in my mind now where I'm like okay I can make this like work you know cuz mm-hmm. it's cuz it does scare me and it's not um but it's just a different kind of scary it's like a real I'm like, were you? Intimate? Would you have been ready for this kind of relationship a couple of years ago? Like, because you knew no. this guy. This guy is a comedian. I mean, I'm willing to say who it is, but if you are, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Uh, comedian Andy Haynes yeah. and Rosebud Baker oh, are. You're Andy? Yes, yes, oh, dude. shit! I yeah. couldn't believe when I I was so excited because you guys have been in this in the same world for years and years and years. You've known him. Why now, yeah. as opposed to before? I don't know. I was like, I was like. I don't know what happened. I was really, um, and he's he, he's always like, that hurts my feelings. Um, I'm like, I don't know why I'm attracted to you. Yeah. He's like, well, it's hurtful. Um, <laughs> but like, it was, we were at this, it's so hacky to like meet somebody at a wedding and like, you know what I mean? But we were at Dan St. Germain's wedding and uh, I was, we were just like dancing and he's like, you were dancing Germain. Dancer. Yeah. 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 And we dancing were like, Germain's wedding. <laughs> I always used to call him Dancing Dancing. Jermaine. (laughs) We were dancing Jermaine's wedding. and No, but we were dancing together, and we were the only two people that were dancing because we're sober. So it's like when you're sober, you dance because you're like, this is as close as I can get to feeling high. Yes, yes. So we were... The irony in that is that when you first get sober, you can't dance. You can't. And then then you you get comfortable being sober. Mm -hmm. That's all you have Mm -hmm. to feel alive. (laughs) Oh my God, I was alone on the dance floor, just like rocking out. I love it. And then he was like three hours late and he walks in and he was, I was like, oh my God, another sober person. And he walks directly to the dance floor and we both just started like, like having the most fun. Yes. And to the point where I skipped my ride home and drove back with him, like- two hours later so I could keep dancing. Yes. And then we were, I remember we got to the was city. Was it like, did it ever get touchy-feely on the dance floor? Was there any, like, vibe? No, it was no, It was just purely, like, funny, fun. It was fun. just fun, funny, silly, and I was like, and I had just, like, had this moment, like, a week beforehand where I was like, I just am so uh, fed up and, like, sick of these, like, stoic, 
um, unemotional, too cool fucking dudes. Like, I'm so sick of it, even though it's my kink. Um, (laughs) And I was like, I gotta just, I gotta stop. Like, all, I could meet a rock and be like, he's really warming up to me. Like, yeah. it's like, you know what I mean? And I, I was like, I'm, I'm fooling myself. And so, and I was like so upset about it. And I just kind of admitted it to myself, how disappointed I was and how like I, I wanted mm. someone who I could be, who I could have fun with and like, who was silly and, uh, and who was like hot and funny and just, and so... I don't know. We were like driving back and I was like, what's happening? I was like, why am I, what's going on? And I kind of realized a week later, because I kept wanting to hang out with him. Mm -hmm. I was like, maybe I like him. And then I said it to him. I was like, I think I may like you. Wait, when, when? And like, had there been any kind of like flirty vibe before that? Had you guys touched yet? I mean, Andy's the biggest flirt. It's like, he's... A huge flirt. Mm. He wrote. He literally texted me. I hope to wear you like a gas mask someday. At oh one my point. god! And I was like, okay, that's a flirt. Yeah, that was. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> but it, it, real it was a flirt. <laughs> it was a flirt in the way that he knows that I'm fucked up. So <laughs> I was like laughing about it. Yeah. So I was like, he's so fucked up. Um, and and then like a week later, I was like. We hung out uh, with our mutual friend, and when we left, I wanted our friend to beat it. No offense, Gavin. Gavin Matz. Um, <laughs> and I was like, and I texted Andy, I wanted to keep hanging out with you. And he was like, yeah, I wanted to keep hanging out with you, too. Mm. And then, like, the next Aww. night, we hung out. We went to my apartment. We had sex. And then we, like, didn't leave my apartment for a week. It was like like two addicts just like oh my God. getting high for a week. You know what I mean? What, oh, what TV yes. were you guys watching? Um, we were not watching TV. <laughs> Matchy. No TV was on. Oh my God. It was Rosebud, that's so fun. It was like so fun and and then fully I mean like addicts are the only people that move faster than lesbians it was like <laughs> with, within a, oh, two weeks I was like I love you he was like I love you too and it was Whoa. just like on and it's on Whoa. yeah that's it's, great how long have you guys been yeah. dating now um we've been dating for two months yeah yeah wow. and it's it's on yeah and do you do you spend do you um do, are you with each other all the time all still? the time yeah it's like wow. when I mean, when he's on the road and I'm on the road, then... Do you guys talk about, like, the last... Like, when you guys... Did, has he liked you for a while? Has he harbored this crush? Uh, you know, I would love for that to be the story, but I really think that he just, like, like saw an in and was like, okay, yeah. you know what I mean? I think he was... He said that he'd always thought I was hot and stuff, which is, mm-hmm. like... It's nice that's, to hear. You know, but that's, like, how it is. Whenever I ask for, like, mm-hmm. more or try to, like, fill in the story, it ruins it. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Whenever I try to make it, like, more romantic than it is because they're so fucking practical. It just gives me a lot of hope because there could be someone that I already know that I just haven't looked at in that way yeah. or danced at a wedding with yeah. Um, yet. Yeah. Because I, I, I just, I feel like I want to be with a stand-up comic and or, like, someone in our world, and I'm like, oh, I've been through them all. Like, I yeah. know them all, and I'm just not into it. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh, my, maybe there's someone that I totally wrote off. Yeah. And um and would never have thought. Yeah, I mean, I remember last year we were hanging out in L.A. and I was like, is he trying to fuck me? And at <laughs> one point, I was like, no. I just like was like, there's no way. We're there's nothing's ever gonna. You, you know told what I mean? Him. Uh, vibe wise, I told him. I I can have a very strong like absolutely not vibe. Yeah, I've been told. Yes. Where like a guy will kind of just be being friendly and like hanging out with me, and I'm like, mm mm. Oh, nope. I do that too. I can yeah. shift to like very, like we're friends. Yeah, and I'm. It's there's no. T- I I just because I've I've so many times it's happened where guys made a move and I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 that I think I've built up when right. I decide no. It's like I put up a fucking wall. Yeah, yeah. same. I can do quickly. That too. Yeah, but it it definitely happened. It took both of us by surprise. Like we were both just like, what is going on? You know what I mean? And it was. So it happened really suddenly. Did and he wear? You, did he wear you like a gas mask? <laughs> sure did. Sure did. Shit. That's so hot. He's coming back from uh, Vegas today, which is like exciting because we've had like six days apart, and it's like, I don't know. I haven't had a relationship in a long time where it was like I wanted. I was like. I feel better when they're around. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And part of me is like, is that codependency? Because I 
my last relationship was so in, we were so independent of one another and I loved that about it but it was also like at a certain point I was just like uh there's well, I'm this isn't this doesn't even feel normal like people would ask me about it they'd be like why don't you guys ever hang out together yeah, I had no idea you were even dating that person yeah <laughs> For yeah years yeah Whoa. and I think wow that was nice because I was coming up in comedy and I didn't want to be dating a comic that was like ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And I, I, cause that was like a thing. I just didn't want people to know. So, um, it was good for me at that point. And, and I still love him. He's like a good friend of mine. I will always love him. We spent five years together. He's a great person, but I, it was different, you know? And yeah. now I feel like, um, you know, it's very sweet. It's like, we love to be around each other, and I, it's terrifying, but it's in a good way. Yeah, you seem a little bit softer. Yeah. You seem like to have let some love in. Yeah. That's, That's how I so feel. That's so nice, girl. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. I'm, I'm jealous. <laughs> I know. Me too. So great. Why can't I have that? I, I, I mean, will. My, my friend Anya has it right now, too. She's deeply, deeply in love. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Really she's so in love. in love. I feel the same. Like I love being around him, and I'm just like... Some shift happened. Is it the same guy that we that we were talking about? The guy that you had like a history with? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Yeah. And he's like my best friend. It's so weird. It's like yeah. everything Easy. I was. What? Easy. I mean, not male, male <laughs> best friend. <Just> <laughs> uh, but no, I do feel better when he's around. And yeah. there's some weird shift that happened where I feel like, oh, now I know why a lot of my relationships in the past did not work and why this one's working. It's like. I was always trying to angle for my career or my, I was, I had a lot of deal breakers before and now I feel like I made this concrete decision with him. Like I just am in, yeah. I'm in and like this relationship is a priority and that's something new. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, we can fight, but like I'm in, I'm not bailing. Whereas before I was always like, I'm fucking out if if you, you know, do this, that, or the other thing. And then I'll come else. crawling back begging for you yeah. after yeah. I decide to with leave. With many of my yes. ex-boyfriends. Yes. Yeah, but with this one, it's like a weird thing where I'm just like, it's not even, I don't even know if it was a conscious decision. It's just like the dynamic of the relationship is such that I just don't want to lose him. Wow. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool, but I really like, I genuinely like him a lot. It's crazy. Yeah. I know. It's so nice to see my friends in love. And yeah. I say that, and it doesn't sound like I'm being sincere, <laughs> but it is It is great to see it. You want that for everyone yeah, in your life. But it, uh, I tried to, um, I asked my ex-boyfriend to like fly to San Francisco to fuck me this mm -hmm. weekend because I just, I'm going on Stern tomorrow and I want some kind of story because I'm just like so boring. I just don't hook up. I don't do mm -hmm. anything exciting. And his grandpa died, so he couldn't. And it's just like it's selfish. So annoying. <laughs> <I was> so... <laughs> uh, that's the angle. <laughs> but he was going to. Yeah. I was gonna do it. And yeah. I was. I, I really wish that I could have done something. I just like cannot. Um, you had sex with Andy though before you guys were official, right? Yeah. You're not supposed to do that, but it worked out for you. I, I did everything wrong. Mm -hmm. I I said I love you first. I told him I liked him. I was like, uh, same, we can. Same. I was like, we shouldn't have sex because I like you. And then I immediately had sex with him thirty minutes later. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> wow! Literally half an hour later. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I did everything wrong. Steve, uh, do you like it? When, do you like to be approached by women, or do you like Hell to be yeah. approaching? You I do. I love it. So I don't have to do the work. Like to say hi. My name is Steven. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, it's yet. so awkward. It yeah, sucks. Yeah. So you you prefer a girl to come up after a show and be like, "You're really funny," or slide yeah. into your DMs. You're really funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's Full transparency. Class. I met my last girlfriend at Caroline's Comedy Club. Yeah. So of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, after his, after a good set, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you crush it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I just don't know how to like. I would love to just I don't know meet somebody naturally. You I know, know. Yeah. but I don't, I can't. Do you do the apps? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I, sometimes I delete them and stuff. And I, I know like it's lost, such a I, funny thing to delete them when yeah, you're like, I'm done with this. Done. It's like you're breaking it up again. with someone yeah, that doesn't exactly. exist yet. Like, this, <laughs> yeah. you know? this place sucks. I'm getting yeah. out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I did like lose like 15 pounds. Oh, yeah. And, and I started working out. 
but I've been less lucky with girls, and I think it's because I dress like a douchebag now. Why? I, I don't know. I don't think you dress like a douchebag. Not at all. Oh, you don't think so? No. All right, I've been I toning it nice. down. I, I I bought pink sneakers. I I wear hoodies all the time, and I think I think girl like I think like I some girl like or some said like. So my my buddy Jeff Curie is like, who's that fuck boy over there? Oh, you dress like a fuck boy. They call me a fuck boy. I was yeah. like, oh my, that's I was I was that's like, like I was honored. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, wow, I didn't know. You. Like I was such a dweeb. Yeah, you're wearing like your coat. Uh, didn't you say you liked his coat when yeah. he was walking in? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah your great. coat's cool. I think you dress cool. All right. Cool. You'll be dating an Ariana Grande type in no time. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm calling yeah, dude. it. I my goal is to I want to date somebody that has more like Twitter followers. <laughs> Than me, mm-hmm. you know, so then they could retweet my shit, you know. What a see, you're what ready a funny, for something real, boyfriend. yeah. <laughs> that's really <laughs> what are you looking for? I, 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 the right one. I don't have any, yeah. Prefer- How old are you? 29. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, she's out there, yeah. I'll uh, we'll cross that bridge, you know. It's hard to date on SNL though, right? I mean, like with your hours, I mean, I guess yeah, it would it probably get you more pussy than it would. It- you know, like people are impressed by that. Maybe, yeah. Girls I are, guess so. yeah. Oh hell yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Oh my god. So. Yeah, they're like he's a provider. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's something like biologically where they're like he can protect the clan. Yes, right. yes. Right. But then, but then they don't realize how much time is actually spent there. Yeah, and and, and also it's like I I do want to date someone where I could like express like my anxiety about my career sometimes mm-hmm. and talk about like oh uh, because it, it's a hard job yeah you know? yes. it's such a yeah. mind screw sometimes so it's like man it's like do i are you willing to let me just tell you how i feel all the time because it's you could get a therapist too yeah you know my trainer i i stopped seeing a therapist i just talked to my trainer now Oh, While you're cool. training, that's a good. That's actually uh, two birds. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's great because he's like, that's he's just like a company. dude. He's like, you know, and it's just like, there's no well, jargon. I think you need a therapist. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I need would. to find the right one. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the, a therapist who actually who can give you some toning things to do during the. <laughs> I think that you focus that on the therapy. Dope. Therapist and then you with do, weights. Yeah. <laughs> right. In his right. Yes. Right. Right. I could do some cardio. Well, how did you just? You said you just lost a bunch of weight. I lost like fifteen. 15, for your, pounds. for you, that's a that's a, a lot. You're not. Yeah. I would never. If you yeah. had extra fifteen on you, I'd be like, you don't need to lose people, that. But how'd you get people, it off? I just saw a trainer. Oh, okay, yeah. a therapist, yeah. a therapist. A trainer, and uh, and my trainer therapist, and it's he's great because he's not about working out. He's not like whoa. He like he kind of is like a conspiracy theorist. Okay. So like this I'll guy be, does a lot. I'll be doing just burning calories, yeah, yeah, yeah. talking about your fears. I'll be doing push-ups and being and he'll tell me all this Epstein shit. <laughs> and it's like it helps me like burn the cows. I'm like, what the hell did this guy yeah, just that's smart. say? Yeah. Tell me like about You're how, a like, stair the, climber how, like, and he's like, it's it's building seven. Get to the top of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's he, he's wild. He's like telling me that like aliens built the pyramids and oh, stuff right. like that. And but how did they build those? Pyram- I mean, I think they figured out how they did it. Right? Yeah. Right. But they were huge, not aliens, but like the Egyptians. The Egyptians. Yeah. But literally how? Like, does anyone know? It's nope. like teamwork. teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that we'll go to aliens before that. Right. Yeah, before t- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You put the hieroglyphic dog in team. Yeah. Um yeah. I'm gonna go on a limb and say aliens don't exist. I'm gonna I I um I think that there are is probably life elsewhere, but yeah. it's not like coming to here and visiting right like i don't right. think it i think this was an anomaly i don't want to sound like a flat earther but i, I think i don't it's know just us. i don't think so well this is the show to figure yeah. it out no I, yeah, we'll figure <laughs> it out this morning. yeah. <laughs> I think they exist i think they're i think they're they exist and they are uh they're like super intelligent and they just we can't understand them we can't under, even understand yeah, yeah. They i don't exist think- among us <laughs> are you one? Oh, we Maybe. got an alien in the studio right now. <laughs> I just think there are too many old men dying on deathbeds and confessing shit that they saw at Roswell. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah. Really? You heard? Yeah. Anything? Yeah, there are men that I think just men. Sorry to any women <laughs> who may have been at Roswell. I don't know. But yeah, like 
people who were at Roswell who were sworn to secrecy that worked for the government mm -hmm. saw stuff and then yeah why like, not say it on your deathbed yeah yeah right I'm gonna got say to so lose. much shit on my deathbed oh yeah oh god I got, I'm gonna name names <laughs> <laughs> I got a list I can't wait but wait you're only 12, I'm gonna, I'm gonna so be like you know time. what I'm gonna hold on I'm gonna hold on to life like, get until Ronan I Farrow this. come <laughs> with your little pad <laughs> and pencil come visit me yeah my hospice ward <laughs> <laughs> some names. Yeah, it's, uh, it's okay. So you're seeing a trainer slash therapist slash conspiracy yeah. theorist. Uh -huh. Got you in shape. Yeah. Got a new wardrobe. Right. What is all this transformation? What's going on here? I got money. Oh, yeah, that's from, it. That's yeah, it. From, Hell yeah. <laughs> when you got SNL, what were you doing before SNL? I was in LA. I was working at a dog walking company doing mm. customer service. And, um, I did JFL that summer, and they flew Just me for out. Laughs. Yeah, they flew me out to screen test uh, to audition for the cast, and I was on the floor, and I was like, "I'm too weird for this show," and my set was like making fun of the show. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I also took all my clothes off. In how the so? Did, how? Oh, oh, wow! Almost all. I I did a thing. I I we did on SNL a few weeks ago with Harry Styles called Funeral DJs. Oh yeah. And I did that in my audition, and I took <laughs> off my tearaway pants and was just dancing in my underwear. <laughs> and hell yeah. And like that. And when I when I got off, I was like laughing because it was like yeah, I'm, I, I'm just gonna say this on Marin's show, you know, 20 years from now. And then an older, a nice man came and shook my hand, and it was Lorne Michaels. So the first time I met Lorne, I was only wearing my underwear. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And then how soon after did you find out you got the show? I met with him the next day. And in his office? In his office. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Where were you staying? Did they put you up for this audition? Yeah, we were staying at a hotel across the street from 30 Rock. Okay. Just so nerve-wracking. And were you with other people that were also auditioning? Did you guys, like, hang out together? Were I you was... I I ended up being in a room with who ended up becoming some of my best friends. Oh wow! Yeah, who other people that became writers and it was like Chris Red, Sam J, Gary Richardson, Andrew Dismukes. Nice. Who were all still there? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, and I met with Lauren and and um, it was cool. I so. My original name is Stephen King. It's not Stephen Castillo, so mm -hmm. I had to change it for obvious reasons. Right. And I remember, like, the last thing Lauren said is like, so, so Steve, what do you want your name to be? Stephen King, Castillo. And he, like, asked me, and I'm like, you have all the power. Like, you pick tell whatever me. name you yeah. want. And he was like, oh, that's not what I meant. I was, like, so confused by that. and and then Because I, at the time, you had not switched over to Castillo? I had. Oh, you had? I had. But it wasn't, like, official, official mm -hmm. yet. So I just stuck with Castillo, and then, uh, yeah, and then I got a call the next week that I was going to be a writer, and I had twelve dollars in my bank account. Oh my god! And I celebrated by buying a double cheeseburger at Carl's Jr. <laughs> oh yeah, that's all, that's all I could afford. Yeah, I love that. Where did you? Where did you grow up in L.A.? No, I I grew up in uh, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh wow! Yeah, I lived in a like a mobile home. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. And then you moved to L.A. When? Moved to Chicago after that. Mm -hmm. Then moved to L.A. And then five months into L.A., I had to go to New York. Wow! So you were job. barely there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Congratulations! And where do you live now in New York? In a studio uh, apartment? Studio apartment in Williamsburg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, alone. I don't know if I need to get a dog. No, I feel like your hours when wouldn't be good. Hours could you walk would. that dog? I couldn't. I don't want to get a cat. I don't. Yeah. So I'm thinking about getting a cat. Rosebud, do you have cats? No, no, you you're not a pet. Never. Maybe? I had one, but like, oh, you did. Yeah. You've had a cat before. Yeah, I had one. It, my cat died last year, but yeah. I didn't even care. Wow, <laughs> wow. I was like, they don't do anything. <laughs> okay. Well, that's. I can kind of get behind that. Yeah, they're not. They're not great. They're I mean, not they're great. fine. Yeah. I was sad for like a day, mm -hmm. but yeah. it wasn't like. <laughs> it's like an aunt. I that mean, you weren't that close to. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. I thought you meant like stepping on yeah, an ant, and I was like, well, that's a little harsh, but yeah, yeah. yeah. an ant that I wasn't close to is exactly, Di that's you're exactly away. it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You're like, well, death happens, you know? Like, it wasn't that how, big of a deal. How old was she or he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
I really don't. I Do we no... know a name? I feel like her I name cannot... was Chicken, and that's what okay. I fed her. Yeah, like I, had, that's I named her after the first food that I fed her. Oh that's wow! You how much really I gave did a not shit. put. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing: I was really nice to this cat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that cat came to my apartment uninvited. I gave her a can of chicken. She turned out to be fucking pregnant with like seven kittens. Oh shit! I found homes for all of her kittens. Oh, good. So I did her a solid. So you know, when she died and I wasn't that sad, I was like, it's fine. Yeah, she I, was a lot of work. I put in a lot of. I I let her know that I loved her while she was alive. Yeah. You know? Was she cuddly and stuff? Like I just want like a cuddly creature. They're not. They're never. Yeah. They never are. They but don't. Some people want it. like post pictures where they're cuddling with their cats. They're How do, do they their do cats it? Don't want. Literally, I have a joke about it where I'm like, the only way I could cats tell she was dead it. is she was letting me hold her. Like, oh, that's wow. how so I gotta get a, she was. That's great. Cat you know? on its deathbed. Yeah. Get a dead cat. That's ready. <laughs> just get a dead cat. Yeah. Get a dead cat. Okay.